We're covering the best settings in 2024 for Call of Duty Mobile. Let's hop into it. Starting off with your controls, we're gonna go to HUD and check everything off as hip fire. Of course, unless you're an ADS player, but for me personally, I prefer hip fire and so do most professional players. Under custom layout, here's my HUD. Now on to the basic settings. Under basic settings, you wanna have your aim assist on, of course, fast grenade throw off. That doesn't work very well. I don't see anybody using that. I don't think you should. Joystick auto sprint, I keep it off. Some people like it on, but in my opinion, it gets in the way. Quick run from prone, I think that's helpful. That's why I have mine on, because you are do need to be in situations sometimes after drop shotting where you quickly escape. Fixed fire button, yes, that's always gotta be fixed. Right fire button for camera rotation on, all of these are on and they're pretty more or less self-explanatory if you have questions about them shoot me them in the comments and i'll answer i don't use the prone button so i hide it some people love this others don't that's a personal preference ads button for rotation make sure you have this off otherwise it will mess up your aim the most important having your perspective teammate on quick we weapon switch is on as well add some convenience and Having the split throw button on as well. One tap weapon switch button, that's very key. So make sure that's on. Side hand, it doesn't really matter, but I like to have that on as well. I've tried and tested left hand tactical for quite some time. I find it's very inconsistent, or at least I'm inconsistent with it. So I prefer to have that off. Sync ADS, FOV, the scope zoom. I think that's only good if you have an iPad. You do have some professional players that have it on, but it's very seldom and it's not that common for good reason. If you do turn this on on phone, I recommend you have the lowest FOV because this will automatically count through that ADS FOV scope and will make it at least viable. Everything else is also pretty self-explanatory. You can copy them if you'd like. I think they're really great. Make sure you have all of these off for both the a weapon performance while ADSing and hip firing. The more shake there is, the harder it is to actually aim and control your aim. So you don't want that. It also gets in your way. Keep the damage number on. That'll help you calculate exactly how much damage you've done if you've weakened an opponent. And it'll give you information whether you should re-challenge a gunfight or hide for safety. I personally have my ADS on hybrid. I would just keep it as a regular tap to ADS if you're just starting out. Hybrid doesn't really, I don't even use it. I just have it as a setting, but you only activate it when you hold the actual ADS button. So I don't really hold it, I just tap it. All of this is personal preference. I found the sweet spot for me with sprinting is 55 sensitivity. You don't want to have it on over sprint because sometimes there's situations you got to walk where you can sneak up on an opponent and not get sounded. Find out what works for you and you know that should help. One thing with the oval sprint, if you're having trouble actually walking, make sure this button here is reduced lower. If you sprint too easy, then maybe you can stretch it out more. I don't use gyroscope. I got 75 FOV. This is personal preference. I've tested a lot of different kinds of FOVs. Right now, this is my go-to. And these are the map settings for the best map, which is the smallest but where you can see the most and that's what you want so you can get the most information as you possibly can. Make sure the minimap rotation is on, callouts are off, player and center off, and tap the hold off. Okay, now audio and graphics. We're gonna go ahead and put low graphic quality because that is what's best and makes the phone run the smoothest in my opinion. Always make sure your frame rate is on the highest that your phone can handle. Because I have a gaming phone, it can go to ultra, but if you do not have that capacity, just max it out. That will make your game as smooth as it possibly can run. And as a result, help you win more gunfights and games. Make sure your frame rate adjustment is on and max it out as well. That'll help keep that smoothness for you as much as your phone can handle. This phone can handle 120 FPS, so that's why I have that on 120. I personally put off super resolution and optimal performance and scope, and I just don't think it's necessary. I don't really care about how the game looks that much, so long as it gives me the best advantage. For the audio, you wanna have the 20 wave volume and go ahead and turn off all your ambient volume, everything else you can just customize and personalize. As for your effects, you can go ahead and copy this or you know you can choose your own, but make sure some must do's is have the explosion shake off and your hit effect zooms off because that'll just create less distraction for you when you're playing the game. Now on to the most weighted sensitivity. Mine is on speed acceleration. I have a value of zero. A lot of people always ask me, why is your speed acceleration zero? And it's because it's the best of both worlds between speed excel and fixed speed. 
when you swipe smoothly and consistently, you will get the properties of thick speed when you're actually swiping. But if you do a quick swipe with your thumb, speed acceleration will then take over and you'll begin to see your aim rapidly moves up as you swipe fast. Now turn off link sensitivity with resolution. Having it on just genuinely messes up your sensitivity and game and I do not recommend it. And these are my personal sensitivity settings. Whatever's on the camera sensitivity is gonna be on the firing sensitivity. So you can really just copy and paste it for one or the other. This way it'll create a consistent sensitivity whether you're in a gunfight or out of a gunfight. For more in-depth tips and tricks to become a top 0-1% player, check out my Call of Duty Mobile course at mju.com. You're gonna see a lot of information there that you haven't seen anywhere else, not on YouTube or any other platform. And this is gonna teach you how to go pro, how to think like a professional, how to make money and become a professional player by playing Call of Duty Mobile, and how to understand the game on a deeper level, along with training as professionals would train, whether it's your gun skill or your movement, everything is covered, and check it out, you won't regret it. Learn all you can to prepare and be ready for this year's Call of Duty Mobile World Championship, and we will see you there. All right, take care. Check out all my other social medias and join my Discord server. We are almost at 1K. I'll see you inside.